With the main guts of the Techno EB48 2.0 buggy completed, front and rear ends, centre differential, and also the shocks in the previous kit bags, it's time to start mounting some final pieces to the main chassis so that we can begin installing the electronic setup. On we go with bag N. Bag N contains a range of new parts to this vehicle, mainly all plastic in construction. We have the servo and ESC mount, a new battery strap along with the battery tray, a new radio receiver tray, new side guards, and obviously all the hardware to get everything mounted. We also have our final aluminum piece, the motor mount. Although we have mainly plastic parts here, you will need some thread lock, so keep that handy too. With that said, let's get started with the main servo and ESC tray. We'll get the entire kit completed first and I'll be installing electronics later, so we'll go ahead and screw in our four 14mm capped screws along with 8mm washers into each corner of the servo housing. I'll keep things loose here as obviously they'll be coming back out when installing the servo, but it's a good idea to get the screws in place and ready. With that done, place the tray down onto the chassis, and flip the buggy over to screw in four 14mm flathead screws into each corner of the servo housing. Before flipping back over and securing the ESC tray with two 6mm button head screws. These are going into the metal chassis so a little dab of thread lock is recommended. Next we'll get the receiver tray into position by the centre differential at the rear of the buggy. And this is also secured from below with two 14mm flathead screws. Again, I'll be installing my receiver after the build is complete, so take note that plastic tubing and a set screw are included for adding an antenna into the rear of the receiver housing if needed. For now though, I'll place the receiver cover on top and loosely fit with three 8mm button head screws. Notice the three screw holes in the receiver cover. These are for installing a transponder to the top of the receiver if you wish to do so. If not, you can either leave as is or insert three more 8mm button head screws if you prefer. That way, should you wish to add a transponder later, you have the screws there in place and ready to go. Now we'll move to the other side and get the battery tray installed. Starting with the side strap mounts, one mounting to each side with two 14mm flathead screws going into each side mount after which we can feed our strap through the battery mounts and get these screwed into place, again from beneath the chassis with two 12mm flatted screws up front and two in the rear. With the battery mount down, we'll move on to the side guards, the first mounting to the left side of the buggy with the four 8mm button head screws feeding in from the top here, so add some thread lock if you prefer as we're going into metal. After which we repeat the same on the right side of the buggy too, albeit loosely considering we'll be using the cable management guides when installing electronics later. Finally, all that's left is the motor mount. Again, I'll be adding my motor after the build is complete, so I'm just getting the motor mount into position here, and it's held in place with two 15mm flathead screws, complete with countersunk washers. Again, normally you tighten these right down, although I'm installing loosely until I have my motor in place. And that brings us to the end of kit bag N. All of our mounts and trays are installed now, ready for electronics to be added, all of which I'll be doing once I have complete the build. For now it's down to the last two bags, with bag O being a relatively small and straightforward addition. 